All right, guys, we are turning on our sewing machine. We already know what the light switch is over here. We're going to change this from 00 to 01, so our needle will turn into the center position. And we have our hands here for our sewing machine posture. And the foot control is underneath our right foot, and we are ready to sew. So today we're going to practice sewing straight lines. So you're going to take a piece of notebook paper, and we're going to start at the beginning. And you're going to actually put the blue line underneath your needle. Hand wheel goes toward yourself, toward yourself, toward yourself. So I'm going to draw the hand wheel towards me until the needle drops down on the blue line. All right. Then I'm going to gently drop my presser foot. Make sure you hold it up, hold it down. Remember, there's about five pounds of pressure here. And if it slams and hits the needle guard, it's going to run our sewing machine. So we're going to gently place that down. And we're ready to sew. Forward, one, two, three. Reverse, one, two, three. Let it go. The machine returns forward. Now, you are not pushing or pulling. You're light as a feather. Gently guide it. Don't put pressure. No fingers. Just keep it on your blue line. And when you get ready for this, when you're almost to the end, one, two, three. Then let it go. Your needle fish finishes inside the sewing machine. So you're going to use your needle lifter to get it up. Press your foot lifter. And then you can actually look into the light and see your beautiful straight line across. And you can actually kind of see a little bit of a back stitch on each one. Now, there are five rules to sewing. All right, so I'm going to line this up and go. Go. Whoa. E1, E1, E1. Oh, arrow number one. All right, you got to put the pressure foot down or it won't go. Notice as soon as I put the pressure foot down, it goes. Rule number one, press your foot down. All right, rule number two. Definitely getting that pressure foot down this time and going, going, going. Everything looks fine. I forgot something. Oh my gosh, I forgot to backstitch. I wonder what's going to happen. If you forget your backstitch, your fabric will actually come apart when you're sewing. This is how you make a knot on the sewing machine. So make sure that you backstitch. So rule number one is press your foot down. Rule number two is backstitch. Rule number three is very easy to see and hear. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what it looks like if you put your speed all the way up to three, which no one is allowed to do. When you get sewing and you feel really good and comfortable, you're going to stay at two. No one should ever be at three, but I want you to hear it and see it and look at it. Notice it's not staying straight. Okay. Your very first assignment is a nine square pillow and the squares are only four inches long. If you go so quickly, you're not going to be able to get a back stitch and you certainly can't sew straight if you're speeding. So I need you to always be at one while you're learning and then you can move up to two when you know what you're doing. But no one in this class should ever be at three. So rule number one, press your foot down. Rule number two, back stitch. Rule number three, no speeding. All right, so rule number four kind of is a little bit hilarious and sad all at the same time. So I have what I call granny drivers in class sometimes, and granny driving kind of looks like this. They'll get really, really close to their machine, and then they'll, oh, 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 and they'll just slam on their, their pedal. So you need constant speed on your pedal, and then they'll push. Or the hold. Notice the fabric doesn't move if you hold it down. And then sometimes they don't think the feed dog will do any good, so they'll push the fabric like this. Or they'll just put heavy hands, or they'll get their eyeballs way up in here. So I call all of those things granny driving. So I want you to be aware that if I get your piece of paper of your hand sewing and I see stitches and wrinkles, I know that you were granny driving, so I need you to have good sewing machine posture and no granny driving. All right, the last thing I want you to be aware of is your needle placement. So on this sewing machine, we have the orange button right here, so our needle's always going to finish in the machine. That's great for pivot stitching, but here's what you need to know. As soon as you get your foot off the foot control, the needle finishes in. 
it doesn't matter how many times I do this, the needle finishes in. So you have to get the needle out of the machine. So if I lift my presser foot and I jerk my fabric, paper tears. But if this machine was loaded with fabric and thread, it would actually break my machine. So rule number four is needle up. Okay, so let's go over this really quickly. You want to make sure you drop your presser foot. You want to make sure you backstitch. No speeding. No granny driving. And rule number five, get your needle up. So now that you've gone through the five rules of sewing, I'm going to go through it one more time the correct way. So I'm going to have my sewing machine posture, my foot on the foot control, my hand on the hand wheel towards yourself, towards yourself. Roll it down until it's on the blue line. Gently drop your presser foot. Forward. One, two, three. Reverse. One, two, three. Let it go and it returns forward. Light as a feather. Gently guide it. Light as a feather. Keep it on your blue line. You're learning how to sew. And reverse. One, two, three. Ah, uh -uh, needle out. Press your foot up. And look at that. We have another beautiful straight line.